Hey, boys and girls. I sure hope you enjoyed our story called The Race about the fable of the tortoise and the hare. And of course, we all know who won that exciting race. And I thought it would be fun to actually make the characters in our story today. So for our craft today, we're going to be making a turtle puppet and the very slow hare, the rabbit. But you're only going to see his backside because he's in such a hurry to run. So we're going to make a bunny butt and a turtle puppet. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and start with our turtle puppet um, because we have to let some things glue and we'll do the bunny while it's gluing. So we're going to move the things that we need for the bunny out of the way and we'll talk about what we need for the turtle. So the turtle is really easy to make. You just need a paper bag, um, some green construction paper, a template, and if you don't, if you can't come into the Herb Memorial Library and pick up a template, um, you can create one either on your own by just drawing a head shape, a round body. You want to draw a half circle for a mouth and some rounded, rounded feet. Um, or you can go online and download um, puppet images on turtles also. I just made my own because it was easier. And then you're also going to need uh, two very large googly eyes. Um, you're going to need the tongue for the mouth, which is an even smaller half circle cut out of red. You're going to want to cut out some cute, adorable little green eyelids out of light green paper. And you're going to need some green tissue paper for the shell. So you want to make sure that when you're making your puppet that you're using this side of the bag. You want the bottom part of the bag, the part that normally stands up, to be on the top because that's going to create the head and the mouth. And so then the first thing you need to do then is to take your template and actually start cutting it out. And you can cut out all the pieces. Just follow on the black lines. If you're using the template that we provided at the library, it doesn't have to be exact, but you want to use about the same sizes that will fit on your paper bag. And again, um, you can use a brown bag or a white bag. It doesn't matter what color bag you make. Um, that is entirely up to you. So here's the head. And you want to go ahead and you want to cut out all the pieces. I went ahead and did that before we filmed here to show you what they would all look like when you have them. And you'll notice that on the feet template, I dotted some dots on here. That's where we're going to put the toenails later on. I'll give you an example of one that I did. And you're going to want to have the dots here is where our little tongue piece is going to go. So we're going to glue that on first. And you just want to glue on the underside of your red tongue. And we want to make sure we open up the glue. That's always helpful. And you want to line up the flat edge with the top of the flat edge of the mouth that you cut out. Because that's going to be the mouth of your puppet. And then you can flip that all over together and put some glue on this, like that. And then very carefully, you want to lift up this, brown, this part of the bag. And if you see that line there, that fold, you want to put that right up against the fold there. That way, when you're playing with your puppet, when you open up his mouth, open up this part, you'll see his mouth. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the head of our puppet. So you want to take the piece that you use for that and you want to start with the eyes. Now your eyelids you want to glue on first and these will take the longest to dry. So you want to run just a bead of glue over the rounded top. Be careful not to get the glue on the bottom part because we're going to slide those giant eyes underneath. That's what makes the eyelids pop out. And you want to put these, position them where you want them to go on your turtle. And then press down and then just let it dry. And the same thing with the other one. You want to just come up along here. Be sure that you're not gluing down here. You want to make sure that you leave that open. Otherwise your eyes will rest under but not inside and they won't pop out. So we're going to let those dry for a few minutes. And we'll set those off to one side. Now you can cut out your body and you can glue your body onto your paper bag also. If you'd like to do the shell part first, you can do that first, or you can do it after it's on the bag. We'll go ahead and put it on the bag for now, just to give some ideas to how it looks. You want to position your turtle body right kind of 
in the, in the center of this long rectangle of your bag. You need to leave room for the feet. So if you need to move it down a little bit, you can. There we go, like that. And that way you've got room for your feet up here and here for the, I guess it'd be like the top arms and underneath. And then we can do your tissue paper. Now each kit that you get at the library, we gave you a handful of green tissue paper. You're gonna have to cut this into the shapes that you want it to be. Squares or rectangles, however you want. If you wanna cut them out in fun shapes like stars or hearts or circles or whatever shape you want, you can be as creative as you want with your turtle. You can be your specially designed turtle. Because turtle, turtle shell patterns vary greatly from turtle to turtle and even type of turtle to type of turtle. So once you have them on there, I recommend at this stage you use a glue stick. On my sample, we used regular glue and as you can see, it shows through the tissue paper. So on this one, we're gonna use a glue stick so we don't have that effect. Just wanna rub your glue stick all over your turtle where you want to lay the tissue paper down. Making sure that you get out any blobs. Any blobs you have will show up and we don't want those blobbies to show up. And just start laying your tissue down in any kind of design you like. If you go over the turtle shell, that's fine too. You can always trim it, which is why I kind of suggest sometimes doing it before you glue it onto the paper bag, it'll be easier to trim. But if you do it this way too, I did it this way to show you in case you forget and you do it the other way, that's fine. There really is no right or wrong way to design your turtle. You just needs to be yours. Your unique turtle, yay. And the best thing about this turtle is that you don't have to feed him. He doesn't get hungry. And we'll put another one here, like so. And another one, and another one. And it looks like I might have to trim this a little bit. Go down here, and another one here. And it looks like I could go for one more small piece. So we'll cut one more little piece out here like so, and glue that on. Now as you can see, I kind of overlap the shell a little bit. So now I'm gonna come around here and I'm just going to trim off the edges where they overlap a little bit. There you go. If you're still learning how to use scissors, make sure you use safety scissors. And if you know how to use scissors pretty good, then I'm just make sure you're being careful not to cut yourself. There, and there's your turtle shell. Again, you can put your squares in any pattern in any order that you like. You can put them closer together, farther apart. If you want to be really silly, you can use different color tissue paper that you might have at home and give your turtle a really colorful shell also. It doesn't necessarily have to be green. Green is just the color that we supplied at the library. Okay, now we got all that done. Now we're going to go ahead and glue the feet on. So since I've got a few here that we've already put toenails on, we're going to go ahead and put these on and then I'll show you how to paint the toenails on your turtle. And you just put a little bit of glue underneath it and slide it into place on the turtle shell. And this one too. This one looks like I smeared it a little bit, so we'll fix that up here in just a jiffy. I'm going to slide him in here like so, and then this one. I recommend you paint the nails either after you've put the feet on or make sure you um, let the, the paint completely dry before you put the feet on, because as you can see, I did smear that one a little bit. So then we'll just put that fourth foot on just like so. And then, you want to take paint. Now the paint is not provided in the kit, so you'll need to, to have paint. If you don't have white paint, you can always use white crayon, white chalk. Um, you can cut out with a hole punch, um, little pieces of white paper if you like. Be creative if you don't have white paint. Um, you can also buy white paint at your local store. You're just gonna take a little paintbrush and you're just gonna to wanna to do a couple dabs of paint for each toenail, just like that and like that. If you want to make them a little bit bigger, you can. 
If your turtle's um, into colors, you can give it color paint. It doesn't have to be white paint. Um, you could give your turtle pink nail polish or purple nail polish or whatever nail polish you would like your turtle to have. Okay, and while our eyelids, which are still drying, this is probably the longest part of the craft is getting these eyelids to dry. While they're still drying, we're gonna take a moment and we're gonna show you how to do the bunny. So we're gonna set our turtle off to one side a minute and shift gears. The bunny is our easy craft for today. For our really little kids who don't need any help, this is a really simple craft to do. All you need is a paper plate. Um, you need a couple of uh, bunny feet that you cut out of white cardstock or, or white construction paper. Then you need two pink circles. And then you need six little pink circles. These are about an inch and a half to two inch in diameter. And these are about three quarters of an inch in diameter for the circles. And all we're gonna do is glue them on. So you can take your glue stick and Rub it on here like that. And just glue the circle in the middle of the foot. Really simple to do. And then now for the paw, for the pads, I made mine so that they kind of went up and around. So I put the middle one on first. And then these we put down so that they're on a little bit of an angle down. That makes it look like he's running like his paws are in action. We want him racing because he's going to try this time to beat the tortoise. I don't think he'll do it. He's never done them in any of the fables I've read. You can do it the other way where you start on one end and work your way across. That's also doable. Like I said, I just like to make sure that it's kind of on a um, uh, angled or a U shape at the top so that it resembles movement. Okay, now you wanna put your glue stick away because you're gonna need regular glue for this part of the craft. On your paper plate, we need to angle the feet up onto it. And so what you wanna do is take your glue and pour a lot of glue on the top of his, or on the top of the heel here. And then you want to push it down firmly onto that plate. And just sit there and, Maybe sing the alphabet song or count to 20 if you can count that high until you know that it's good and firmly pushed down. And then do the same on this one. I'm gonna use a lot of glue here because we wanna make sure that it sticks. When he's running so fast, he doesn't want a foot to fall off. Oh no, and again, you can practice your counting to 20, sing the alphabet song, maybe you can recite a poem or um, something you've learned for church or for school. Okay, the last step for the bunny, you need to put a whole lot of glue in the middle of the plate. Yay! Squeeze in the glue until you get a nice little puddle right in the middle of your plate. And then we've provided you with three cotton balls and you just need to kind of bunch them all up together and smush them down into that, that glue. And you can kind of push them together so that the glue spreads out and sticks and makes a fluffy bunny tail. You can pull on the cotton a little bit if you want. And that looks like a little bunny tail. Let the whole thing dry really good. By that point, your turtle head should be just about dry. So we're going to take our big old eyeballs here. And you want to practice making sure that you can get it under your thing. Just like that. And on this one too. I want to make sure we can get it under just like so. Then you want to get your glue again. A lot of glue in this craft today, guys. And put some on the back of that eye and slide him under the eye. And the same with this one. And slide him under the eye. If you let the eyelid glue dry really well, it shouldn't pop up like these did. We haven't allowed it enough time to thoroughly dry. But that's okay too. If you don't allow it enough time to dry, you just add a little bit more glue under the edges here and then let your turtle completely set to dry. And that will give your turtle kind of a 3D look. And then come back to your bag and you want to put glue on here to glue his head onto the bag. And here you have your slow but steady turtle. And he will definitely win this race. 
And there you have it, a turtle puppet and a bunny craft to make for today's story. I hope you guys enjoyed our craft today. I hope you enjoyed our story. And I hope you enjoy this beautiful day outside. Maybe you'll even find a real bunny or a real turtle in your yard today. Happy hunting. See you later. Bye.